Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to Open It's season. a little early for that, Matt. It's a little early to be this down drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, if the problem is, is I've played the start of this game before, and I know what's mm-hmm. coming. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> welcome to Police Quest Open Season, everybody. This is episode two. We're still on the first scene of the game. This is going to be a long one. <laughs> I hope that you're ready, because uh, here we go. We're going to try to give fewer uh, disclaimers. If you're if you're watching this, just you know what you're in for. It's a Daryl Gates game. It's Police Quest Four. It's infamous. It's the only Daryl Gates. No, I guess actually, I guess he technically was also the creative consultant on the SWAT games. Was he? Uh. Yeah, Daryl Gates was also the person who created behind SWAT. Behind by I games, believe. recording the symbol could prove useful. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a magical symbol? Is it magical? Detective, the criminalist's presence need not be officially notated. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Ready for it? Yeah. Here it comes. Let's do uh, it. Trigger warning and all that shit because there's a dead kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bury the lead. Oh! <laughs> and the game is cracked is, wide open. This is not laugh worthy, but fuck. No. You didn't sake. have to laugh at that. I, I just I'm sorry. Did. I was a little bit abrupt, but I didn't want to like spend too much time disclaimering. No, you're right. No, you're right. Now we get to just deal with this shit for a while. Bullet wounds puncture the boy's body. He looks no more than six or seven years of age. Like, this kid has taken yep. way more damage than. Oh no! Yeah, yeah than, like than your best if friend. you ever watched. There's a, there was a, 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 a Japanese film a long time ago called Akira. Um, if you've seen it, there's this one scene where there was a guy with a grenade that was up against a line of police. Yes. That happened to this kid. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Jesus. This kid took, oh, yeah. took a, a, yeah. like He got the worst of it, let's just say. Like, yeah, our buddy here got burnt a little bit and beaten to death, but jeez. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. So you just you just basically really? have to point John, in every at everything with that, and you'll record it. John, have you found something? Yep, I have found something, buddy. Now it's your problem. <laughs> Sam, we're gonna need another ambulance. There's a body of a young boy in the dumpster. We'll get another car here, John. Wow. Officer Woodbury, when we're finished here, I want the neighborhood canvas to see if anyone's missing a child, but has not reported it yet. Yes, sir. Is there anything else you can tell me, Officer Woodbury? No. We rolled by, saw the body, radioed it in. There was no one in the alley besides the body. The neighbors came out once we set up the perimeter. It was... All right. Wait it a minute. Like it's going to be a busy night for you, Chester. You killed the kid. Unfortunately, our streets are being taken over by violence. Innocent people being killed. It's uncivilized, sir. Ah, uh, get off your high horse. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my theory. Chester, the kid and the best friend the killed each other. Yes, detective. And there's probably a block of ice that has since melted involved. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kid's faking it. Whenever you're ready, fellas, I'm finished. Ugh. Fuck's sake. Like, if I... I... Yeah. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello! Hi! <laughs> Don't it's mind me. It's the meat wagon. I just live here. <laughs> it's a crime scene, you know! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that animation! Oh, yeah. John, like... we can handle it from here. Stop by tomorrow for the autopsy. We'll know more then. Please. If nothing else, this game is gorgeous for its era. Yeah, it looks like right. the the quality of the rotoscoping in this game was really top notch. Yeah, that was pretty. Oh, listen to that music, that merry music. Harry Hickman's death isn't just your personal tragedy; it's a tragedy for the entire force. We've lost a friend, a father, and one damn good cop. As you know, you've been assigned the lead investigator on this case. And I'm going to be looking to you for answers. I'm going to ask you to put aside your personal feelings and deal with this investigation in a professional manner. If you don't think you're up to it, I want to know now. Neither you, the public, nor the department can withstand not knowing the truth. 
I want you to comb that neighborhood. I want every rock turned over and every person interviewed. Remember, Hickman was not the only fatality tonight. The family of that boy is grieving also. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> For your information, the boy has been identified as Bobby Washington. As for Hickman, I think there is something you should know. Maybe you already do. But here it is straight. Hickman's lieutenant, Jim Veraz, informed me that Hickman was having trouble with stress, trouble at home. Veraz told me that Hickman had been in a fragile mindset, that working undercover was getting to him. You know, the violence of the streets can get to anyone. Not me, of course. Hickman. <laughs> I just want you to know how the department viewed his current capacity. <laughs> okay, Carrie. You know what you need to do. Looks like he's bobbing his head it. to the music. Find who killed Hickman. <laughs> Find who killed the Washington <laughs> youth. Do -do. Any questions? No, Lieutenant. Act All right, then. <laughs> Forget <laughs> about it. Harry, Lieutenant. When you see Catherine, please extend my deepest sympathies. Quick question. What color is my suit? <laughs> there's, there's... Lieutenant Donald Block, <laughs> career man. There's no career right man. answer, Lieutenant. <laughs> Lieutenant Donald Block, career man. It really is not a nice color. Is it green? Lieutenant. Is it brown? Gary, you have your assignment. Go out and find yourself a killer. Okie dokie. This door leads to the detective's bullpen. That about covers it, Gary. Good hunting. It's green. <laughs> green. <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> oh. That's awful. <laughs> Too bad about Hickman, Jr. This has hit you pretty hard, huh? Yeah. Well, hell, don't let it. Damn scumbags out there. <laughs> They're just goddamn lucky I'm a desk jockey. If I was on the street, I'd whip their collective disrespectful butts. <laughs> you know, Junior, this case is gonna generate a lot of paperwork. A lot of calling. You're just goddamn lucky you got me as your partner in this one. Damn lucky. <laughs> Bang zone, straight to the moon. Bang zone, tell me who to shoot. <laughs> I, I killed that warthog above my head. <laughs> it's your very own desk. <laughs> oh, that's... Welcome to your desk, John Kerry. Hi, I look at the big sign. I have a memo. <laughs> Let's look at the memorandum. Okay, the memo. I have a feeling this is going to be... Alley crime scene log prepared by Officer Woodbury. Oh, you slotted the memo in before this. <laughs> Harry, uh, scheduled for combat qualification this Wednesday. No excuse will be accepted for missing your qualifying appointment, as you're not eligible for any exemptions at this time. Your last month's scores were low. I suggest you make up the time in your schedule. To get out to the range and brush up before your score really counts. Sign the real, the real Lieutenant Block, not the one you were just talking to. Another one, the British the original one. Lieutenant Block. Lieutenant Block One. <laughs> Lieutenant right. Block the First. All right. Let's open some drawers. A photo of you and Hickman at the lake. The time you caught the big one. <laughs> The big one? Desk drawers. The narrator can't even give us any shred of credit for anything. <laughs> the time you cut the big one. These are 3.14 follow-up forms used to document your casework. We're going to be filling out a lot of these. Oh, lovely. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Crunch it up like and how he, stick it in your ass. Yeah, how it's like he starts saying it like there's going, like there's going to be more. Yeah. And then he doesn't. <laughs> the narrator reminds me of, uh, you remember that episode of The Simpsons where they visit the box factory? And the guy, <laughs> the guy that gives the tour of the box factory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the photograph taken of you and Hickman at the lake, the time you caught the big one. <laughs> Gonorrhea. <laughs> Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. 8326. Eight, Gonorrhea. We got it on the boat. It you guys were basically <laughs> lovers. Basically. <laughs> can you be lovers if you can't be friends? 
<laughs> Dial nine one one. See if you you pick up. No. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I I don't remember the number <laughs> because it didn't. All right. What was the number again? Uh, oh. The photograph taken of you and Hickman at the lake. The time. Eight eight three two six. Eight. Four two five six 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 six. Six. Crash unit, barn speaking. Hello, this is Detective Carey over at Major Crimes Homicide. Is Lieutenant Varez there? No, uh, he's out in the field. How about I tell him you called? That would be fine. Thank you. Tell him his friend's dead. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Your action is unwarranted. <laughs> I just clicked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hal Bottoms, homicide detective, currently assigned to your case. Surprisingly, Bottoms is a top. <laughs> Jordan Tops and Hal Bottoms. <laughs> Hal, has anything come back on the cigarette found in the alley? Damn straight it has, Junior. <laughs> SID identified DNA on the damn thing. Science is a wonder, ain't it, kid? You connect that DNA to somebody's butt, and you got yourself a case. Wow. Fuck right. Shit, yeah. All right, fuck it, A. How about test results? Any preliminary information? I can't get nothing out of that damn nobles. Spoke to that dingy tomato down there, Carrie or something. <laughs> I'm Carrie. All she could say was, the toxicology <laughs> tests and ballistics are running. She's damn lucky. She doesn't work for me. That's all I can say. But damn I'm lucky. I'm Carrie. What do you mean, tomato? <laughs> I don't think you could say that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hal, have you made contact with the folks over at Crash? Were they able to give you any information on Bob? Now, those boys are men, I'll tell you that, Junior. Fighting in the trenches, battling the mean streets. You're to tread lightly, Junior. They're working undercover in that neighborhood. Have been for a couple of months. Your man to talk to is Veraz. You got all that, Junior? And your stupid what does Crash fucking suit? stand for? And <laughs> my your stupid fucking suit. Crash. <laughs> Cars really against stupid homicides. Or is <laughs> <laughs> really against stupid? <laughs> not just against. Really, really against. <laughs> oh, Do you like my brain uh... suit? <laughs> I got it at Frenchies. <laughs> I got it somewhere. Departmental follow-up form 3.14. Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> right. You write up a 3.14 documenting the incidents relating to the alley. Time to file. You'll need to stand up and move to accomplish that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you not have just done that for me? Possibly, maybe. Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. Take a look at my mustache. <laughs> I'm gonna fold it up it. into a swan and chuck it across the room. <laughs> juicy, I Junior. Real I juicy. At 286 <laughs> I still killed that warthog. <laughs> <laughs> it's my greatest life achievement. No matter what you think, you and your fucking suit. <laughs> <laughs> you think warthogs are easily killed? Well, you're wrong. They're worse than dragons. Fuck <laughs> dragons. Dra <laughs> the first animal you could think of. <gasps> yeah. On server, Sunny. Yeah. Ooh. Nice, right? Ooh. The Hitman database. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read about some gang information. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. The Omegas. Um, oh, hey. So, you could, like, read through a lot of this shit, but uh, if you remember, there <laughs> was some um, graffiti on the wall that said RBGB? Yeah. Rude boys get bail. Rude boys Duh. do get bail. <laughs> this symbol is found on buildings near to where the gang has committed a crime. RBGB is a violent South Central gang led by Ragtop Spiff. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It is believed that Spiff is an alias, as no social security <laughs> number exists under the name for some reason. The gang. Yikes. We assumed that Ragtop Smith was just a regular, <laughs> non-white name. Smith. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Smith the gang's colors better. are red, blue, green, and blue again. <laughs> <laughs> a different shade right. of blue than the first one. <laughs> the, ga- the gang activity centers around gun trafficking. This includes both imported and stolen goods. Great. It's like a navy and a peacock. <laughs> Brute boys do get bail. All right. The gang is claimed responsibility for many violent and torturous deaths. Yeah, that's right. That's how I said it. This gang should be approached with caution. It is believed that this gang has international connections. Various members of the gang are suspected of being involved in several unsolved murders and disappearances that have taken place over the past few years. Okay. All right. They seem like the kind of gang that that Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons should have sang about. (laughs) Red boys get bail. Red (laughs) boys. They get Uh. bail. They get bail. Alright, that's fine. We're done. They get bail. <laughs> they get bail. <laughs> uh, Thanks, everybody. We're going to leave you on that geez. note. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Ooh. Hood jammers. The hood jammers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright. I bet, I bet you they're, they're into both crime and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my we god. saw this one Fred Astaire movie and that was the end for him. That was the end for him. You might think that's the B-Boys, but it's actually the B-Boys. The B-Boys. The B-Boys. Their, their leader also... Their, their leader... Jesus, oh, I can't... I cannot think of something as ridiculous as Ragtop Spiff. <laughs> <laughs> he just has a stutter. <laughs> oh, okay. their, their leader, Benny Branson, is the leader of the B-Boys. The B-Boys. <laughs> Snubs. All, all right, right, everybody, and that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you again next week in Police Quest Open Season. Open Until then, season. however, have yourself a lovely week. Yeah, do do that or day or moment if you're watching this uh, long after it's already aired, and there's another episode coming up right away. In which case, see you in a few. Bye-bye, boo boys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. 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 They get bail. <laughs> they get bail. <laughs> Isn't that just the most annoying song on the face of the fucking planet? <laughs> it really is. <sighs> I stayed at a All hotel right. in Vegas once, and that was playing there, like Jersey Boys was, so every time you got in the fucking elevator, bang, <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you're like, fuck it, I'm taking the stairs. <laughs> oh, fuck me, that was awesome.